hello and welcome to YouTube for you so in this part we will set up the multiplayer support for our climbing climbing system and here you guys can now see I'm playing on server and if I climb on this object my client also sees the proper location and as well as the animation of our character and if I switch to client and you can see my server has all the information about the animation and the location of the character so it is fully multiplayer supported so if I switch to If I switch to listen server, you guys can now see my here are my both clients and the system also works properly fine for as a dedicated server. So let's get started guys. So here we have left out in our previous tutorial. So if you haven't watched our previous tutorial then I will suggest you to watch the first one and then you can start working on this. So I'm gonna move my execute climbing functionality down over here disconnect the event tick and jump I'm gonna delete this and also I'm gonna delete my is falling so we have the simple functionality now if we press spacebar then we're gonna call our function determine climb location and this will return the result if I'm gonna print here you can now see it is printing true if we can climb on the objects now here is the false because it's too high and we cannot climb these objects So now let's go ahead and set up the remaining functionality. I'm gonna create new custom event. I'm gonna call this server underscore client. This will be my run on server and reliable to true. And I'm gonna create a new custom event. This will be my multicast event and I'm gonna set this to multi climb set this to multicast and reliable to true and here we have created here we can create a simple custom event I'm gonna call this climb climb montage let's say and this is just a simple custom event and I'm gonna call this execute climbing from my climb montage execute climbing here is the remaining functionality so now on our server climb we're gonna call the multi climb because we can only call the multicast event on our servers and we can replicate the climb functionality to all our clients so I'm gonna call the from server I'm gonna call the multi climb and from multi climb first I'm gonna check if locally control is true if is locally controlled 
then we're gonna do nothing and if it's false then we're gonna call the climb montage so we're gonna not call this climb montage or execute climbing functionality on our own client and instead we're gonna call this on all the simulated proxies not our autonomous proxies because we're gonna set the location to each client locally so here is the functionality now I'm gonna grab my determine climb location and I'm gonna add a branch over here if enable climb is true I'm gonna check is authority has authority if we are on the server then we're gonna simply call the climb montage we don't need to call the server function uh, server climb or multi climb we're gonna directly call the multicast event because we are on the server so first we're gonna call the climb montage functionality on our local on our local client and then we're gonna call this multi climb to all of the remaining clients so if that makes sense now let's check the functionality if I'm gonna set the number of players to true and add to listen server play an editor and here you guys can now see if I am on the server my character properly climb on the object locally but on our client on my client end it it is not performing well so we're gonna fix this for this we're gonna over here where we have set up our set actor location and rotation we're gonna call this add a branch over here and check is locally controlled so if we are locally controlled then we're gonna set the set actor location and rotation and after that we're gonna set our we're gonna send our location and rotation to all the clients and as well as to the we're gonna set, send our actor location and rotation to all the clients so for this I'm gonna add a branch over here and check if we has authority if we are on the server then we don't need to send the location and rotation to all the clients but if we are on our client end then we're gonna send our location and rotation to all the clients as well so for this I'm gonna create a new custom event I'm gonna call this server underscore set climb location and rotation I'm gonna call this run on server and reliable we have two inputs one is for location and one is for rotation I'm gonna set this set actor location and rotation to my location and rotation values so this this is called only on simulated proxies not on our autonomous proxies 
or authority or on the server this is only calls on our simulated proxies so if we don't have the authority then we're gonna call this function server set climb location and rotation and for the location and rotation I'm gonna get my actor transform set the location and rotation like so and now if I play here is my server if I climb now you can see my character properly climb on client as well as on my local machine as well so if I switch to client I cannot do anything so now let's fix the client so here we have the determined climb location functionality if we have the authority if we are on the server then everything is working fine but what if we are on the client so for this first I'm gonna climb montage call the climb montage locally and then I'm gonna call the server climb as well so the server climb will call the multi multicast and it is only calls on simulated proxies if we are locally controlled then it is not performing anything so I think that's it and now let's go ahead and check the result so here I am on the client end and you guys can now see my character properly climb on my end as well as on the server so now let's check this as a dedicated server I'm gonna delete my this character over here create a new player start for this and play and here you guys can now see my character properly climb and as well as on the simulated proxies my character also properly performing well so I hope you guys like this video don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and also you can support me on patreon and gain access to all the project files and also contact me over there thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video